Good afternoon, Rinksy ladies. Hey, Rinksy ladies, how are we today? Wow, you guys, I'm so sorry, we're a bit late in today. We've had a busy morning. We had some really cool visitors into our HQ this morning. Um, your laces, oh my gosh, uh, you went crazy for these. So uh, that's a big congratulations for you guys for asking for such a product. So um, these are going out, have gone out. Our retailers are jazzy excited about it. Uh, we also, I saw Renee playing with sandals, lacing them into sandals earlier today. So the possibilities with the shoelace is endless. I just had some graphic work done on it for all of our packaging uh, for the new packs to come out in the future, which is exciting. Um, so Ella has set me up here because we've been so busy with uh, some try-ons for Friday. So let's unbox some of the new things. Um, so. I'm going to go from left to right. So bearing in mind I haven't tried any of these on yet, uh, the new stock. So we've got Optimist uh, Black. So this is a black boot mm -hmm. um, for winter. Let's pull her out and have a look at her. Oh, there we go. There we go. She is a, um, she is a long black boot with, um, so I'm going to call it like an underneath boot there. It's got an inside gusset on it. I'm going to lay it down there while I get my beautiful, which I can't stop wearing, solar shoes off. Um, these solar shoes, ladies, that I've got on are so, so comfortable. Um, they are literally, for me, like, just really, I like, can run fast in these and keep going. I'm also going to um, undo a sock pack um, because, you know, they're winter boots. I should be trying them with socks. So, uh, these are our Spotty Sock, our Minx Spotty Sock 3-pack. There's a white, a grey and a black because I'm trying on a black boot. I'll pop on the um, the black sock, I guess. Makes sense, eh? does. Right. So we've got the back zipper all uh, go there. And um, let's have a look. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I've got my sock. Oh, should I put the socks on? That's the question. I've got my sock caught in the, <laughs> the back zipper. Looks really boot. nice. Um, so let's have a go. Now I've got that up through my ankle there. Now I'm probably, because remember ladies, I've got that really big chunky uh, athletic calf in through here. So I'm going to work the elastic around. So I'm pulling that a little look at that. Actually oh, Renee said that's wow. going to go up really easily. Yeah. Um, so look, that's a really good, I was a bit nervous about that because like I said, I haven't tried it on So and it's worked. So um, Look at that. And there's actually a little bit more room in there still um, for, you know, those ladies, if you've got this sort of bigger leg in through here, it might, it's, it might function quite well. I've evened up the gusset, so it is on either side there, um, and that is stretching. What I like about that too is it's still giving me a bit of ankle shape, um, Definitely. which is quite nice. Quite nice. Beautiful fit. Yeah, beautiful fit. Uh, so, of course, you've got all that beautiful broguing in through the front here. Uh, all that detailed punching, uh, the gimping on the edges, which is that nice little jagged edge there. And then you've got the lovely natural leather rand that's been hand-stitched. Leather stacking through here. A little bit of a luggy cleated sole on that, which is quite nice. Actually, uh, just reminded me too that some ladies were talking about the soles of these. We are going to have to get used to picking up the odd stone in our shoe, ladies. It's just uh, the living fact of living mm. with um, a cleated sole there. So we're going to take this off. Paul, this, before you take it off, yes. Paul asked, does it stop the sagging? Sagging of... Sagging? Maybe of leg. Uh, sagging <laughs> of leg. <laughs> Does it stop the sagging? Oh, does it sag or something? Maybe. Oh, um, the you gusset. Always, you always get a little bit of sagging through this area here because oh, it's yep. a natural flex point, you know, where you're flexing your foot up and down. Um, sagging of elastic or sagging of the boot. So if you've got a slimmer leg, um, if you've got a slimmer leg, the elastic m might be mm. a little bit firmer to give you a firmer fit around the leg. You have to try it. We have to try it on a slimmer leg and see what mm. it does. The ankle. Uh, the ankle. The ankle so you'll always get a natural little a little bit of a natural wrinkle around the ankle area there um that's just simply because it's a flex point there hmm. uh, so that's cool so that was optimist in the black and we've got other colorways in that oh, yes. uh we've got oh. tan in it which nana is just going to run out and grab you a tan ladies so you can have a little look at it um, just while she's doing that just a little reminder that we are open on um on saturdays 
Uh, we open this Saturday from 9 until 12. You'll get to see the beautiful Liane um, in here. And uh, all this winter stock is kind of out sort of-ish. Uh, you'll be able to access it. At least it's not in cartons um, anymore. Um, so, oh, she's actually opening a carton. Oh, the one box that I just said, oh, yeah, everything's Try open. on this one. Oh, she... Okay, so let's see what we've got lined up here now. Someone actually requested last live to try this one on. Okay, so, so someone, oh, here we, before we move on, actually it's the same colour. Same style, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh. Nay's just got, she's got the other colourway out in the boot I just tried, which is the tan. And that is what she is looking like in the tan. Quite a different looking tan, mm. isn't it? Mm. So beautiful, this rich, rich tan. It, gosh, that's a beautiful leather. Really, really beautiful leather. So that is Style Optimist in the new tan colour there. And I've just got out Style Crush. Which Renee also which has. Which Renee's already got on. So we'll show Renee's one. Uh, this is the... Uh, gold Scrunch. Gold Scrunch. Yep. Yeah. Um, so that's got the... the um, oh, so first of all, I guess, we want to ask Renee about the fit. Well, so, it is actually amazing. Um, my instep, you know, I've got the higher instep in all most boots. This is just like a glove, super comfortable, and I think it's a nice fit around the ankle as well. Um, it's like a good fit for around a 41, the ankle. Because yeah. I'm wearing a true 41, I wouldn't go bigger. Now, just to remind the ladies, you're in a willet boot, a size 40, 41. 41, 41. So yep. this is true fitting then. Yep. Um, so ladies, if you, you've had your Willet boot before off us or your Bandit sneaker, yep. um, you're going to be, and you're normally a 41 in that, yep. you're going to be a 41 in, in all of this last that we're just trying. So that big high leg boot, yep. um, which nay has got in her hand, if you just drop that down. So the big high leg boot, the Optimus, it's got the same toe shape, same heel, uh, same last. So mm -hmm. that will actually fit a 41 really well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I love. Super yeah, I love the jewel zipper on this. It's really quite. Mm. Yeah. It's quite fun. That leather yes. looks amazing in it. Yeah, it's Very pretty. Cool. Pretty for this time of the year. Yeah, pretty autumn boot. Uh, so I've got the tan on. So if you're wanting, uh, I love tan and navy back together. Actually, it's mm. a good jeans color. That works well, ladies. So yeah. Um, so with the tan as opposed to, actually, I might get you to run back into shot, Nay. Oh, yes. Um, so I'm just going to point out the difference between what I've done with the leathers here. So the tan, because it's a plain leather, I've gimped all of this. So gimping is all of the special uh, punched pattern. It's actually a bit of a swirl. Um, with this, uh, the crushed leather, we I haven't put the gimping in because the leather's doing all of the action for us and the detailing for us. So just be aware that this is a non-punch style. This one has the punching on it. Um, it's just for an effect. It's not holes right the way through. So uh, there's a lining in under here. So these are still quite waterproof um, as well. We've got a little minx, um, a little minx uh, zipper. Um, keeper on here uh, and of course you can zip in and out of that you don't have to do both you can just do one so just a reminder that you ladies uh, did ask about this uh, which is why we've pulled it out I'm a 37 in this and it's fitting me really really well lots of room in through the toe box a beautiful heel height on this not too yeah, high really nice. um, but enough to make you feel a little bit dressed up there so uh, that is style crush uh, what else have we got? I had a lady asking about the fit of the uh, Pipers. Oh yeah, the Pipers. The confess. Yep, yep, yep. You could try the Confess. Oh yeah, I can try yeah. the Confess on. That might be a bit of a challenge for me, the Confess actually. Mm -hmm. I think that she was for the, for the longer sizes. Oh yeah. Okay. About the fit and the instep. Okay. Uh, so this, in theory, the 41 should fit you fine um, because it's the same little group of um, lasts. Yep. Yep. And so, I mean, just check out the ankle fit on Renee and the leg fitter on Renee. So she's got a lovely slim slim leg. Uh, this is always a challenge as a designer to get um, a fit around, um, you, you know, all leg shapes. Um, so she's so Renee has a nice sort of slim leg. And it's not really looking like we have this, this saying about being a pencil in a holder. Um, so like a little, you know when you see yeah. a pencil, yeah. like a big round cup holder. It's looking really good. It doesn't look like no. that at all. Kelly yeah. says, oh, I love those. Yeah. Aren't they cool? So there is a suede, ladies. It's a printed suede. I'm calling it Bone 70s Printed 
suede multi. So uh, it's a really cool, it is a oh. 70s printed. Oh, so it's very, very cute. Yeah, there's another colorway in that. Just while she's doing that, I've got, um, I've just started the process here of putting my foot into uh, the Confess and the stunning color. Now, you ladies have already been buying this thick and fast online already. Um, <laughs> I do if it's starting to get low on sizes. So I'm just going to show you here. So comparing my, I've got quite a chunky ankle. Uh, and leg it's quite thick and through here. I retain a lot of water, ladies. It's not good. Uh, anyway, so it's always a challenge for me to get my boots done up around this area. Um, so I'm always really conscious about trying to put fitting properties into boots. What I will do to help this help this fit my particular leg a little more is I'll let these buckles go, um, expand them out, and then start. That will give me the opportunity to start using this elastic gusset on the inside here. Can you see that okay? Yep. Um, yeah, so, so now I can pull that round, let it do all the stretch, pull my leg into that. There we go. And then um, work my buckles to do them up. And I don't, you know, the average setting is in the middle. I'm probably not going to use the middle one, but... I'm going to use these sort of last ones here. But it means I can participate in the look and I don't feel like I'm left out. <laughs> so no one wants to feel like they're left out. So there we go. That's it. Yay, I can fit these. Yay. So I'm just going to show you the difference because I'm going to whiz around. Poor, poor Alice scooting around on the ground here. <laughs> um, so, so that's the difference. So you but can I see Renee's a got one. a lovely little slim ankle. Mine is a lot thicker in through here. Um, so Renee is able to fit that with no problem at all. So and someone's I'm asking if they're, are they a narrow, narrow fit? No. No, they're no. not a narrow fit. No. No, no they're not. They've got um, a nice depth of last. So when I talk about depth of last, I'm referring to this part in through here. Uh, and they are a good good width in through here. Um, when you've got a depth of last, it allows for a lot more fitting in through this wider part here. Mm -hmm. A lot more room for your toes and things. Oh, uh, that's the little, um, that's the, wind, the other lever. Piper. Piper. So in the... That's the 70s tan suede. Yes, that um, bow multi. suede and tan. Yeah, so that's your beautiful tan there. Um, so I guess the key differences are the sole colours here. Mm -hmm. So in the tan's a lot darker, the sole's a lot darker, the leather's a lot darker. And in the bone, um, you've got a tonal bone coloured sole um, and things. So someone's also asked if we can try on Molly. So that's that one there. Mm -hmm. And a similar one with a similar style could be this one for Renee. Molly. Yep. Molly. Oh, okay. So we're changing it up in toe shapes and soles here, ladies. Let's have a look at what style Molly is. Oh, it's like Christmas time. Mm. Okay, so this is Molly. Look at here. This is uh, one, just one of the very many colorways and leather options that we have out um, this season. Sorry, Ella, I can go low if that's... No, it's okay. Um, so, let me talk about the sole. You've got here a beautiful wedge rubber sole, uh, highlighted by a beautifully hand-painted white rand. It's blending into your dress almost. Oh, is it? So, I've got... To mm -hmm. put it against, uh, put it against yep. the floor here, so easier. Yeah. Um, and then you've got this. This is uh, we've got our webbing up through the back here. That's Minx branded, uh, highlighting the white out with a white rand there. So this particular colorway is the gorgeous ink suede. Um, what I love about suede, and I know some of you ladies don't like suede because you get nervous about uh, wearing it every day. Um, it, look, it is actually leather, so you can just spray a top coat on it. And um, and it will be waterproof like a leather. Uh, so this is a be your beautiful ink suede. You get that richness and depth in um, in colour and suede that you just can't quite attain in a um, in a in a leather. So right. So I'm slipping into this. Um, I'm a size 37, and I've got like a really nice. It's got a little sparkle in through this elastic. And this elastic will stretch so that it's got a um, so it's got a nice little. Um, Ability to stretch over your what's that little joint there? Your little oh ankle ankle joint? I don't know what it is. That's it like an ankle knuckle, isn't it? Um, so here we go. Let me stand up in that for you. So look at what you remember. We were talking about my chunky ankles. Look at that angle and how it starts making my my ankle look just a fractionally like it's got some kind of shape which it doesn't have. So giving that sort of angular look um, going across like that does make 
it look a, a slightly better shape. Uh, these are a great little trouser shoe, uh, trouser booty. Um, really, really good back with, um, you know, with a little straight leg black pant. Imagine that. Um, they, they're going to be a really, really good little winter booty, I think. So that's the ink suede in that. Um, and that was uh, particularly for a customer that was asking to seal C style Molly. Uh, like I said, this comes in because it was such a popular indenting style with our retailers. There'll be loads of retailers right up and down the country with this boot. It comes in a full grain leather, it comes in a crocodile print, a, um, a reptile print. Can we remember any other colourways? And lots and lots of different colourways. The well, mallard. Lots, they're all down. They're I can take you. Down. You're going to take, do, take do a little, little slow. Tour. A slow uh, burn down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me yeah. follow in behind um, so we can give you. Uh, oh, these are all last families, aren't they? Oh, oh it's over here. Yeah, these are them here. So here's little Molly here. So that's your beautiful rich black suede in that, ladies. Look how dark and rich that looks. Um, it's so, so lovely, and it's so nice having that little contrast pop of white. Gives it like a semi sporty ish feel. Not sporty, sporty, but you know, like gives it a nice kind of like little pop of attitude. Now, this is a very gorgeous leather that I didn't think we were going to be able to have made. Uh, this has been individually printed for us, just for minks. Um, this uh, particular fleur de lis type. Um, uh, vegetative type print on here so it's white but it actually has a hint of grey in through that floral pattern there um, I'm just trying to think what we did call that leather to be honest black white garden yeah black white garden we couldn't quite the print on it we were just sort of like it's sort of it has tones of fauna I guess is what I'm trying to say um, so that's that colourway there um and that one there is that, that's also black multi repto sparkle. Yeah. So if you are if you're not loving if you're not really loving a full on suede black version, this gives you um, another version in it, which is your repto print. So this is actually still a printed suede, but it has more like a leather finish to it, a finer finer leather finish. Bridget said, "Do we sell the spray for the Molly boot?" Yeah, yeah, we've got, um, we we definitely we call it uh, we recommend a, a product called Wally. W O L Y, I know, don't laugh. Uh, the brand is Wally, and we call it a Combi Care Spray, a protector spray. And I would buy the Combi one, which means that you can use it on, say, a product that's half suede and half leather, full grain leather. Um, and then it, it kind of it doesn't affect the integrity of your leather in any other, in any way. Or if you've got a patent and a suede. Um, you know, like the boots got patent, say a patent toe and a suede body of the shoe, then you can just spray it on everything and it doesn't really affect the integrity of the patent leather either. So if you get the combi here, it means a combination of materials that, that just all get protected at the same time. And were there any other colorways in there? Yep. Oh, oh look, oh there's heaps, go on. Uh, so this here is the same Molly style, same beautiful rubber wedge sole. Um, and this is the Mallard Croco um, embossed patent. So it's a gorgeous color, this color, and it's gonna look amazing. If you like to wear a lot of black and you wanna wear a pop of color as your accessory, um, this mellow colour is going to look great back with black. Mind you, I'm just putting it next to my navy. It probably almost you could have a fiddle with that. Uh, and then the final colourway in this molly is the black small spot patent. So I need my glasses. So this here is um, is a leather which got, has got like a teeny tiny uh, embossed print on it. Can you see that through your screen, yeah, you definitely lady? Can. Ladies, yeah. So that's um, that there is the molly in the black small spot. So. You know that when we are, uh, and we're back down to our navy down here, so you know when we're actually uh, providing so many colour options, it's a really good indication that it was a very, very good seller with our retailers. Um, so that's why we have all of the selection here for you. Um, like I said, these are all out at retail now, so you will be able to, we should be able to pop into your favourite retailer. Remembering everything is uh, now that we're showing you today, Ella has loaded online, and along with all of those, I can just see you here on your eye there, Ella, I'm just going to put it away, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, lady. Um, so um, everything you're seeing online, uh, in here now, is online, and it will give you uh, the retailers um, who have bought the specific colour that you are interested in. Uh, which is good because then you can go to your local retailer and try them and try all the colors and the fit and the feel yeah. to make sure you're happy with it uh, So there's one more box here that Ella's put. 
heart. Aside for me to try. Um, so again, this is an inquiry from uh, one of you ladies uh, over the week. Um, so let me try on style hope for you. Just have to think about which foot I've got, have I got out. <laughs> uh, now, oh, yeah, I know. We we pulled this out of the box. It was the only one we pulled out of the box when we were frantically. Did that happen at the start of the week? Yep. Oh, this <laughs> week. I tell you. It's been a crazy old week. Might take my sock off for that because it might look a bit funny. Or maybe not. Okay. Oh, maybe I should. Uh, so, uh, this is the black repto in this, um, in this little style. So, you, this is what we refer to as our um, as a tab loafer. Um, so, the tab is the front bit over um, over here that we that we refer to. Now, you'll see I am kind of actually having to really work my foot into that. And that's a good thing. I would not want to be able to slip into that super easily. Uh, the reason being that you need a bit of firmness over here because this is the thing that holds you in a loafer shoe like this. So it's been a while since these kinds of shoes have been on trend. So it does take a bit of getting used to. So for fitting notes, just remember this needs to be firm because it will hold you. So when you're walking, see how that's not slipping off the back of my heel? And that's what you want. You want this firm enough to hold you into the back so you're not slipping out of the heel. Um, once you're in, super rewarding because your foot settles down and it's lovely and comfortable. Lots of depth in through there. So I hope you can see the detailing on this shoe. Um, what I'll point out is that you've got a little bit of the brogue gimping in through, this, um, in through the front tab here. You also have a double uh, layer of moccasin kind of um, stitch in through the front here, um, which is really, really luxe. It's a really beautiful detail, and it's carried all the way through as like a secondary um, binding, leather binding around the top line here. Um, so this is a very, very luxe leather little shoe. It's so like it's what I would call like a high winter loafer. Um, again, you've got your beautiful leather contrasted rand in there. Um, slight cafe hint to it, so you can see that it's leather. And then you've got your leather stacked heel and that little cleated sole on there, which is um, rubber. Um, so we know that rubber is super, super comfy underfoot all day. Uh, remembering, ladies, that most of our mink shoes, where they've got a... Um, an insole in them like this kind of construction, they're coming with at least a minimum of sort of four to five millimeters of memory cushioning foam. So under the foot, they're nice and nice and soft. Uh, and these also have a lovely pigskin lining on them and, and um, on through the, in through the footbed there. So I think those, those were the main styles that you ladies were interested in seeing profiled. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really great for us to know, like get a gauge on what you're interested in seeing uh, when you feedback in longer sizes and things like that um, so that we can help you with your purchasing decisions particularly if you're wanting to buy online off your favorite retailer and things like that uh, so yeah just a reminder about the laces mm -hmm. they are selling super quick um, very few retailers have even seen these the ones that savvy retailers that have been watching the live have picked up on them pretty quickly so I can tell you super minks now have sets right throughout their, uh, their stores their three stores in Parapara Umu um, Martinborough and um, uh, which is no, not Martinborough, Greytown, I should say, and live in. Um, yeah, we have yet to actually introduce them to a lot of retailers, so uh, we are working on that. Kelly says, Thanks so much, but now it's harder to pick. Oh, sorry, Kels. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> And uh, that's, well, we've done our job right, haven't we? If, we? if we're making you think about what options you should be getting. Someone said, could you profile the new gravity pink and black boot, please? Yeah, yeah we can do that. Do you want us to do that for you now while you're watching? I can grab you one. Yep, Nate's right just going to go grab you one. Yep. Right. Oh, I tell you what, that, honestly, that's so pretty, that boot. Um, it's got a rubber sole on it. It's got that pop, those pops of yep. pink. Well, so such, oh, such, it pop. doesn't matter, I take my shelf, it's fine. Um, yep. Thanks, thanks, Nate. So this is what we're talking about here. The Gravity Boot, which was one of our top sellers from last summer, um, we are, I've put in some, put in a bit of attitude, a bit of colour attitude, because, you know, we need colour. Colour makes us happy, ladies. Colour makes us super happy. Uh, so, this is just an elastic in through the front here, so it's got stretch in it. It doesn't uh, do anything other than add a layer of interest um, and design element and texture uh, to this particular style of boot. Uh, there is a little, little pop of elastic in through the top, which actually is a functioning piece of elastic, which allows, allows stretch around that ankle area there. 
Um, you've got also the pink carry through into the back here. This is a beautiful pop of pink leather, um, highlighted by those black um, chunky rivets, um, carrying that look through from the plate that's in the back that's got those same little baubly rivets on through the back here. Now this looks like a real starchy hard boot, but look what I'm gonna do with it. Look at that. That is a rubber sole, ladies. It's got our branding on it, um, and it is, it's nice and soft and comfortable underfoot. You know the other thing that I'm just I'm gonna just kind of highlight to you, you may not have noticed is that the eyelets on this boot are a matte black finish. Um, I think these are the details that make Minx a standout brand compared to some of the other brands. So um, the matte finish on it kind of adds a little bit of extra texture and grunge to it. Oh, look at, at look at old sales and marketing. Look, you know, why we're there. <laughs> why we're there, why we're there. Actually, here's where you can see the matte black doing the talking in the eyelet. I don't even know why I'm talking about eyelets. It's just because these are the details that I love as a designer. And when I put this together, I wanted this matte finish. Uh, so this here is the pewter uh, version. Now we did have a pewter out last winter. This is a slightly more silver toned pewter um, as opposed to a brassy gold toned yeah. pewter. So we're doing a more silver toned pewter. Also last year we put a pop of red through the back. This year I've simplified it and put the black in through the back here for you. Um, so this is another color option um, for you. We've got the minxy um, detailing up through the back. Now I haven't, I haven't undone the laces on this, so I can put this on for you ladies and we can have a look at it on. So um, I'll need to probably relax the lacing in through the foot part here a little bit. Uh, but it does have a zipper, so once you've actually set these laces, in theory you should never have to really touch them again. Um, oh look at that, don't you love that? Oh, that makes me, that fills my heart with joy. Seeing a little pop of pink on pop the of pink. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, so here we go. Bridget, who asked about this, said she got, she's already got last year's in pewter. Oh, yes, yep. So it's a slightly different pewter. Um, but yeah, look at this pink. Look how cool that is. She's so cute. So cute. Uh, whoopsies. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing, Ella? Friday. Oh, yeah. So here we go. I mean, gosh, you could get your laces, couldn't you, and really go all Whoa, out, ladies. You could. Oh, look at that. Now I'm getting crazy. Actually, would it fit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. It would. You could do a pink satin lace in there wow. and get rid of that black. And how individual would that look? Um, that would look amazing, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to stand up in that boot for you. Um, so that's a good fit around my chunky ankle, ladies. I've got that ability here for this elastic to give. Um, it's doing its job as intended. And like I said, once you've set those laces, whatever colour you choose, um, you just zip in and out in through here to get in and out of it. So um, it's a real easy boot to manage once you've set it all up. So uh, thank you for that wise lady that asked about the um, this gravity. So this is gravity. And this is the black milled hot pink version. I think there's a black on black version. And then we've also got the pewter and black version as well. So just a reminder, these all have been delivered and gone out to retail. Someone did ask, what would you recommend for a wide foot with high instep in a boot? If yeah, you... okay. Um, that's a really good question. Um, I am going to say, when Renee tried the family of these boots on just before, she actually does have a high instep. I mean, again, it's quite subjective when people say about um, their insteps and things like that. It is quite sub subjective. Um, she did get her instep in there no problem at all, which is quite a thing. It was the Piper. Uh, yes. Yeah, it was the Piper. Yeah, she yep. had the Piper version of it, which is quite this similar, similar. But it's all modelled yeah. in through here. Um, anything that's a lace-up like this is going to be amazing for a higher instep because you get that ability to fit... Uh, and extend that and expand that area, area out. Anything with any sort of elastic going through this area here, maybe that molly boot that we had out just before with the elastic in the side, that's potentially going to allow that to work in through that instep area to allow you to get um, into, into the boot a little bit more easily. Um, so I think we have lots of options for you this season. Any, any lace-up boot you're going to be absolutely fine with, I should say, I would say. Um, and then some of the ones with the elastic detailing should be okay. But again, just pop into your local retailer or come and see us and we'll, um, we'll help you out with that. Yeah. We got any more questions there? That's all. Well, that's all. Well, I just want to wish you all a fabulous weekend. I am definitely having this weekend off, but, um, which I'm pretty excited about. 
I will give you a heads up. I'm heading down to Christchurch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to help our sales agent Kim launch the new summer collection. I'm super looking forward to seeing your retailers that are based down that Christchurch southern end of the land. I feel like I haven't connected with anyone down there for such a long time. So I'm super excited. I will be in here in the morning, so maybe we might be able to squeeze a live in Monday morning. Uh, and if that's the case, then send in little notes through on this one about anything you want to see profiled from this winter. Any questions, anything like that. Anyway, ladies, from all of us here in the office, have uh, it's been a monumental week. Have a fabulous weekend. See you later. Bye. Bye.